Namaste. Well, it's a beautiful, bright morning here in Tiruvannamalai. Spring has sprung fully. The mango trees are blooming. Everything looks very beautiful. So I want to announce that finally, <laughs> after putting it off for a long time, I've collected all of the music tracks that are currently available and put them in one place. So here's the URL to the site. There's also a live link in the video description if you just want to click it instead of typing it in. And you can see all the tracks. Now there's a big uh, hole in that track history. Uh, during the time when I was doing music based on the Krishna um, belief system. <laughs> and that was about from the late 90s all the way to 2011. So uh, I sold the rights to all of those when I left that organization and that belief system. And I don't really promote them anymore. I don't believe in the whole system that they're based on. But everything else is there, including my Buddhist period <laughs> and the more recent ones that are uh, based on Sri Vidya. But you know, what is music? When I look at these pieces and I listen to them again, it's like, well, love letters in the sand, you know, it's, it's just a temporary expression of a passing feeling and then it's gone in the wind, you know. And I wonder, I, I question really the value of music in that way. That yeah, it can influence people and it can propagate a certain mood, but is it really giving anything substantial, you know? Except in the case when it's used to propagate a mantra or another, like a classical prayer, you know. Uh, I still have a few tracks that I haven't put up on this site um, because they're mainly spoken words. They're about, you know, prayers to uh, the goddess and like that, the big prayers, you know. Um, and this is mostly a music site Audius is a music site. So I'm just putting the musical tracks there, not the spoken tracks. So in any case, right, this sound vibration is so insubstantial. And I get more out of just chanting a mantra than I do out of making music these days. I get so much more. In fact, I'm so blissed out, really, all the time, <laughs> that it's hard for me to focus on like music production or anything that demands a sustained, concentrated effort. Uh, so I haven't done much music lately. I haven't been inspired to. You know, when I get the inspiration, then I sit down and bang something out. But it's not something I want to spend like days and days doing like I used to in the past. You know, some of these songs represent a week's full-time work just for a little song. You know, by the time you put in all the little decorations and embellishments, you know, and uh, some of the classical pieces, maybe 10 days because it's orchestration and effects and it's lots of tracks and complicated and so anyway for the amount of work that I have to put into a music track it just doesn't seem to be worth it I don't know if you have a, a request you know like for a particular mantra set to music let me know and I'll consider to do it but Basically, um, 
you know, I'm kind of off the music wagon. <laughs> and it has to do with the larger issue that whatever you do in this world, you know, like Steve Jobs said, I want to make a dent in the universe. Huh? I want to carve my autograph. Kilroy was here. <laughs> but no matter how big a dent you make, it's only temporary. The world will go on without you when you're gone. You know, there's nothing that you can do that's permanent or really meaningful in the overall scale of things, which is beyond our grasp. The universe is so vast, so complicated. You know, what are we silly humans here for a hundred years or less? What can we do? That's why I compare not only music, but all human endeavors to love letters in the sand, you know? As soon as the next tide comes, they're all obliterated. So we've been very lucky, you know, the last 50 or 80 years or whatever it's been um, since the last big war. We've been very lucky to live in a time of comparative peace and plenty. Most of human history is just full of chaos and conflict and struggle and suffering. So if we don't take advantage of this, by all means, temporary situation to advance spiritually, what are we doing here, you know? It's like wasting our time, wasting a tremendous gift that we've been given. Like, I'm not really wild about modern technology. You know, I would just as well go back to the horse and wagon stage and live a more natural life, you know? I would be fine with that. But if these things are available, let's use them. Uh, let's use the technology because we can easily bring a spiritual message to thousands and thousands of people. And that's what we've done, and that, that's what happens, you know? Uh, but if it wasn't there, I really wouldn't miss it. It's just the ability to reach out and touch people on the other side of the planet, you know, that's so wonderful and so amazing. And I intend to take full advantage of it as long as it's available. So my question to you is then, what are you doing? Are you sharing our videos? You know, if you like them, you know, I get a lot of likes on my videos. Well, why not share them on social media? Why not spread the word? Why not help out a little bit with promotion? Because it's not like I'm going to hire a manager or a PR person. <laughs> you know, it's up to you to share this gift in the limited time that we have available and make it something, even though it's just temporary, just love letters in the sand, you know? Spread it around and help others who may be struggling to find the answers to the secrets of life. Aum Tatsat. Aum Shakti Aum.